Well, well welcome back my gardening friends. Uh, it's the uh, 7th of uh, February and uh, the beast from the east is just showing its mark. You may see this video uh, later on. I'm just trying to get a few things done before it gets very, very cold. And here in the UK, if it gets below minus five, we're there hiding away. And not used to the temperatures that some of our uh, fellow uh, creators are, uh, or people, viewers, uh, in the minus 20s to 40s. But uh, today, I just wanted to quickly share with you uh, a simple form of uh, a hoop tent. I'm doing that for my giant cabbages. Just a few basic principles and the uh, cards uh, across the top and the end screens, there'll be a few videos that you can go and visit uh, to create your, your own. So basically you need some rebar and some uh, 25mm plastic uh, uh, watering pipe. Entirely up to you what you use, but uh, it's just a, base, a few basic things to know so that you can create something that's uh, suitable. So I'm just going to enjoy this and we'll get on and have a look. And please remember before you leave hit the like or dislike button, uh, check out the comments, see what other people have ideas uh, about this and uh, you'll learn loads from the comments. So while I'm chit chatting away have a little read through. As you can see the flag is blowing from the east we don't get that very often but at least the fires uh, blow in my way uh, when uh, I'm sitting by that fire and a little on a sad note uh, my plot holder on this side on the right hand side sadly passed away uh, middle of uh, last week um, if uh, you want to just pop a heart in the comments I'd appreciate that so looking across from plot three, across plot two to plot one, you can see that uh, hoop tent and I'll show you uh, how I uh, created that. So you're never, never going to get this uh, uh, perfect and we will use battens uh, along there just to stop them moving, but I always like to join my plastic pipes. Uh, it just gives it uh, that bit more of uh, the solid uh, effect. You'll remember these rebars. I'll try and put the uh, card or video in um, during this video. Uh, that was uh, a fly tip. We've cut these and uh, uh, they're a free resource. The plastic pipes were here when I got to plot three. So we use a short piece of pipe up to here and then I've got some short lengths of rebar so that halfway in I pop them in and then put some tape on if you don't then this rebar may slide down uh, the back In previous video I welded two rebars together and put some washers on welded some washers on to fasten it to the post that's helping support the post because they are going rotten and we've popped another piece of short on that so there's the uh, welded one and it's a bitterly cold so that's at that height and if we look across we're at this height here just because I want to it doesn't really make any difference we're walking down there so that needs to be the highest bit but you can have it even whatever you need to do uh, to adjust the height if you've got it slightly wrong Let's just use this one. You can move the plastic up. And now you can see that it's uh, not level, but that's the idea. You can actually move things about to get, uh, get to where you need to be. So this piece of pipe slips onto there. 
that rebar goes into the end we measure and cut and remember is it measure twice cut once or cut twice and measure once <laughs> but uh, you can adjust it if you make mistakes by just lifting it up or down uh, once the uh, net's on and then use something just to stop that moving about but that is all there is to it and the other videos will help you uh, get that sorted the reason i haven't been able to fasten that direct to the post because uh, a previous plot holder put concrete in to hold the post still so i've got a little bit of tidying up to do i can move the rebar now the uh, cannabis uh, compost can now be moved because the cardboard isn't going to blow away as you can see i've used the uh, recycled wood that we've got uh, and like i say it isn't perfect it doesn't have to be now the soil and the wood chips are separated and i can get them leveled out a little bit these uh, barrels that we've cut down are to put the cabbages inside when they've settled into the ground a little bit that just holds the leaves up it stops the cabbage from wobbling from side to side because some of these giant cabbages do get very big it'll be nice to get a, a nice big cabbage but uh, we need to help support them uh, while we can so i'll just finish all this off now and i'll bring you back I've just uh, found what I think is a dandelion root and you can see there there's not much to it but uh, that's all it needs if you miss something and this is an old raspberry bread so we will get uh, some volunteers well so that's uh, some of that done um, I'm not disturbing this because if you remember we built up in layers uh, some organic materials that the cabbages uh, may favour and I'll be adding some more liquid plant food uh, more nitrogen uh, as we go and I'll be taking some of the uh, my homemade compost that's now been used that's in that bin uh, down the sides and then eventually when we open this up uh, we'll get those sat in We'll put some water pot some drainage pipe in two inch drainage pipe so we can water through the leaves so we're not uh, putting water on uh, and then this will all be netted uh, to uh, keep the uh, pigeons off and uh, the butterflies uh, in the summer well we'll try anyway i think i can hear the kettle boiling again i was right Now, if you want to get your kettle all in a quick bit quicker, then just add a little bit of cardboard. These are card cardboard rolls. They're a little bit thick. Now, the cardboard uh, kitchen rolls and toilet rolls, uh, onions don't like them. I found it's just the bean family that really gets on with them, and they'll burrow their way through. But if you put a bit of cardboard on, it just gets that uh, fire going nicely for us. We talked about the netting. If you're still with me, I'll add this uh, to my playlist, uh, how to join uh, debris netting together. That's quite a popular video if you search Google. I will uh, then add that uh, to the uh, end uh, uh, screen as well. So you'll be seeing that uh, shortly. Well, my nose is running, so I haven't got COVID. But uh, please stay safe out there. Keep your social distancing do your exercise and uh, don't break the rules happy gardening to you all till next time my friends ta for now
don't dry your gloves too close to the uh, fire as you get holes in them. <laughs> There you go, have a look at the cards, press on them and enjoy uh, what's up there.